the variables, the drop-down items for products. You go to Easy Cart Admin, Store Admin, Products, and from there, Manage Option Sets. And what you put here is what the drop-down items are going to be. So if you want to drop down addressing colors, drop down addressing size, if you want to drop down addressing uh, colors for a different item, you'll have to create a new one. What you do by creating a new one, maybe colors 2. Option label, this is what they're going to see on the drop-down menu. So, uh, so to let them know that they have to choose a color, I would type something like that. Then we insert it. Oops, not that one, I want colors to edit. So when you have colors to, then to add what the items are in the drop down, you go to edit option sets. Create new item. So item name will say this is color 1. And if you want to have it make a special price, you can do it here. Otherwise, just hit insert. And then just for video purposes, I'll make a color 2 as well. Insert. Okay, so now that we've created the name of the menu that drops down and the two things that are in that drop down menu when it occurs, you go to the products and you edit a product to use this menu. Maybe I'll, I'll start a new one so as not to mess up what you have. So a retail item, this is product one we'll call it. Click on option sets, then option set one. Which variable, which drop down menu do I want to include? I want to include colors two. Now if I go to images and click this box, now whatever I choose for product image one is what's going to show up when they choose color one from the drop down. Then if I choose color two, whatever they choose in product image one for this one it will be shown. So color two will now display this YouTube logo and color one will display the Facebook logo. And we insert. Oh, can't use the same model number, so we'll call it one, two, three. All right, now if I go to the store, here we are on product one. And here from the drop down, color one gives me Facebook, color two gives me YouTube. 